Hey guys, it's Papa Elf. How are you doing today? Now, you've probably been asked, can you please send me a copy of your logo in vector format? Hands up if you don't even know what this question means. Guess what? In this video, we are going to discuss the difference between raster images and vector images. First, let's talk about raster images. Raster images are created by a dot matrix. In other words, tiny dots are used to compose an overall image. Raster images are usually saved in familiar formats like .jpg, .jpg, .bmp, and .png, just to name a few. You can see this dot matrix in action usually when you zoom into an image. On the other hand, vector images use mathematical statements to represent shapes. These shapes can be given attributes such as thickness, curvature, and color. Examples of vector image file types are .ai for Adobe Illustrator, .eps, .pdf, and .svg. Because vector images are mathematical statements, it gives it the capability to redraw itself when scaled. We will demonstrate this by creating two similarly sized images. One will be saved as a raster image file in PNG format, and the other will be saved as a vector image file in SVG format. Watch how the raster image file on the left loses resolution as we zoom in. On the other hand, watch how the SVG image, the vector image, retains the crisp, sharp edges even as we zoom into the file. Other than being able to retain high resolution when zoomed in, vector images also allow for easy manipulation. This is why graphics designers and printers love them. We can move objects around, we can add or remove text. We can transform and resize things. We can change attributes like color. We can even export a vector image into a raster file type, such as a JPEG or a PNG. Raster images are still very important. Our photographs are raster images. Raster images are also used as a final check in print proofs to make sure that all the fonts and colors are coming out correctly. Remember that it is always advantageous to have your design in both vector and raster image file formats. So next time you're working with a graphics designer, make sure that you obtain a copy of both. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, papaelf at eventelves.com.au.